Welcome to Dot Headlines. I'm Lu Zali. Thank you for joining us. From Haiti to Myanmar, where it is now more than eight months since many people lost their lives to Cyclone Nagis, Suji is still seeking new ways to help the Burmese recover. Recently, volunteers paid a visit to two temple schools located 30 minutes away from Yangon to deliver a stationery and provide free medical services. Filing out in two neat lines, these Suji volunteers are looking forward to this outing. This time, the caregivers are paying a visit to two temple schools and meeting with children who braved Cyclone Nagas. Though meeting for the first time, volunteers and students feel connected. A video is screened showing Tsuji's aid efforts in Myanmar in the past eight months or so. Volunteers dressed in navy and white stream in from different countries to help restore life to normalcy. Some of the young audience are moved to tears. <laughs> Suji's care covers both the mind and body. Medical volunteers help children get rid of their head lice and administer flu treatment. Brand new school supplies are given to youngsters as gifts. One student tells the caregivers that he wants to save up to share his goodwill. <laughs> Only with knowledge gained from education can one escape the ensnarement of poverty. The fourth grader son to own adds that he wants to donate stationery to other needy children, a generosity that deserves accolade. It is youngsters with such noble character that spell hope for Myanmar's future.